One of the more basic rational functions that we want to explore is what we call a reciprocal function, uh, where we have this 1 over x. What the graph looks like, let's imagine a couple of points with me, if you will. Imagine if x were 1, my value would be a 1. I'll put it roughly there. Choosing just some extreme values, if x were a 10, way out here, my value would be 1 tenth really close to the x-axis. Let's choose a value in between 0 and 1, like maybe 1 tenth. 1 tenth of the way, my value that becomes 10. So you start to see that I'm starting to get a little bit of a shape that if I filled in the dots, whoops, looks similar to that. And then I looked at it on the negative side, There, that was a prettier one than the one I drew on the right side. So that's what a typical reciprocal function lo looks like. A couple of observations I want you to be aware about is what's happening at the different values of x. And the way we determine that is, well, let's say what happens as x is approaching 0 from the right side. So I'm on the right side. My values of x are approaching 0. What can you say about my value? Well, my value is starting to skyrocket. And so that's starting to approach infinity. You all right with that? Well, what if we say x is approaching 0 from the other direction, from the left side? What do you notice about my value? It's taken off and diving steeply. So that's approaching negative infinity. A couple other ways we can look at that. How are we going to look at it? Um, so we're, right now, we're approaching 0 from both sides and looking what happens. Notice what happens at 0? The answers are diverging direct crazily. That's one reason why dividing by 0, it just kind of rips the equation. It splits it apart. All sorts of craziness happens. What's happening to x as x is approaching infinity or positive infinity? What can you say the value is? Well, the value looks like it's approaching closer and closer and closer to zero. As x is approaching negative infinity, coming out this direction, what can we say the value is doing? The value, likewise, is approaching zero. So those are a couple of the fascinating dynamics when we're looking at a reciprocal function as far as where those values are starting to tend, where those values are starting to occur, and so forth. So we use this notation to kind of get a sense of what happens when it's approaching a particular point. Another graph that we might see that's a common or somewhat of a common graph would be, or a reciprocal graph is uh, f of x equals 1 over x squared. And that graph has a graph that looks like that, symmetrical about the y-axis. So it tells me it's an even graph. And then likewise, I can look at the notation as well and determine what's happening. So what would you say if x is approaching 0 from the right side. What's f of x doing? f of x is approaching infinity. What about if x is approaching 0 from the left side? What would you say? f of x likewise is approaching infinity. And then if x were approaching um, infinity, what's my value doing? My value is approaching zero, getting closer and closer to the x-axis. And lastly, if x was approaching uh, negative infinity, my value is likewise approaching zero. So those are a couple of the, of the reciprocal functions or a couple of the rational functions that we're going to look at are these reciprocal functions to get an idea of some of the nuances. Now, not every point is going to be approaching a zero. These particular graphs happen to be centered on the y-axis or reflective about the y, well, there's some symmetry about the y-axis and here about the origin. We see that, but that's not always going to be the case. So x isn't always going to approach zero. 
So when that's the case, we start to use a terminology that X is approaching some point A from the right side, or X is approaching some A from the left side. And from that, we want to determine what's going to happen to the value. Is it going up? Is it going down? Where is it going to tend to go as we, as we look at farther and farther and farther out values?